Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, as promised, we're going to do kind of a a daily, uh, well not daily, but today we're going to do like a our routine type thing today and show like the solar and how it's working. Uh, as you can see, the sun's not out too good right now. It's kind of, well it ain't kind of, it's very cloudy. And there's some hops already that I've been talking about. If you can see them, uh, see them right there. Two big old hawks. They're already out looking for chickens. But uh, anyway, we'll get the day started. I was going to, there's a couple people wanting to see how our solars and stuff done. It's a little after 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, Saturday morning here. So we'll get started and show you guys what we do, how we do it. And how our solar does on a normal day. Today will be a pretty good day because it's over. It's overcast like crazy right now. There's all kinds of hawks over there too. There's probably those two and there's four more of them. About six or eight hawks out already this morning. So anyway, we'll get everything started and we'll show you how our solar's doing and everything like that too. So stay with us. Oh, and if you haven't done so yet, you guys, uh, please hit that uh, subscribe button. It'll help us out a whole lot. Uh, it's free, it won't cost you anything if you want to keep up what we do here on the mountain. So, anyway, thank you. We'll get, we'll get the day started. I'm going to start some breakfast here this morning. As you see, I have the coffee going. I'm going to start some bacon, and some eggs, and some biscuits. Um, we got the air fryer on, the coffee pot on. I'm fixing to turn the oven on. And I've also got some chicken over here. I'm going to start for Buddy in the microwave because all he'll eat is table food because he's rotten. And our bacon only takes seven minutes in our air fryer. So we got our bacon going. Fixing to put our biscuits in. We'll do the eggs as soon as everything gets almost done. Got the dog food going, and this is our breakfast routine. So I'm gonna get my coffee. All right, guys, as you can see, overnight our batteries went from 100% down to 90%. So we used 10% of our battery uh, overnight. What I'm doing is I'm fermenting the feed. We got the whole oats. Uh, uh, yeah, there's the oats. And this is fresh grain. And then right here, in this bag right here is uh, the soy meal. Uh, let's put it in here and pour water in it. And stir it up. It'll, so, it'll absorb all that water and that feed will swell up great big. Pretty cool. It makes them fuller faster. And they don't drink as much water because the feed's already got, you know, absorbed in water. I mean, as you can see, the totes are still completely full. And they're all level across. And as you can see, all these are, all these are completely full also. So, all the way up to there, all the way across. And that's with us using it on a regular basis i mean this is what we're using all right guys on the solar it's about i think it's 12 30 15 to 1 right now and the sun is just out now good enough for the solar to start charging halfway decent um this is a an event it's a i think it's an outdoor like a, a dryer vent but i've got it rigged up through the wall anyway that's blowing cool air out into the house I was talking about that blow cool air out. It's like an air conditioner. So basically a mini split is what it is. 
as it heats the water, it blows the cool air the, into the house, like our air conditioning. Anyway, here's the, the solar. And you can see we got, with with the hot water running, with the hot water heater on, uh, we're, we're producing, uh, say 900, 900 watts into the batteries, 14 amps. Okay, now she just turned the microwave on, so. So now we're pulling 500 watts or so from the batteries. All right, guys, another little update. We actually have 72, well, 65. It's 72 amps going into the batteries. And it's not a real sunny day out. 40 amps, 42, 41, 39. But it was at 72 right when I turned the film on. The main this is a grow what 12k let's see what it's doing let's see that. 87 bolts 24 amps coming in off of those uh, that is uh this right here is six uh let me figure out what i got here this is six solar panels coming into this um on the front porch that's six off the front porch they had 12 but remember i was saying i unplugged two and i uh or one light one string and i put it up here so this is six solar panels right here and it's pulling in 28 amps off of that so 29 28 and this one is the 12 solar panels on top of the chicken bar. 400 volts, 44 amps coming in off those. And it's not a really a clad day. So you got 44, 28, and 29. So roughly 80, 80 some odd amps coming in total. 82 amps, 79, 78, 77, 78. That's a lot of amps, you know, I mean, that's pretty good, and it ain't even summertime yet. So. Alrighty guys, as you can see, the, the mini split is on. But this thing, I know you ain't gonna be able to see that. It says 45 degrees outside, and it's 69 degrees inside. And I set that on 78. It just now kicked on, just now cycled on. So let's see where the charge is at. Okay, with that running, we're still bringing in 58 amps into the batteries. 3100 watts and still even and that's not including what it takes to run that mini split so that's what we're still putting into the batteries right now all right guys it's about 3 30 as you can see we're not charging right now we're at 97 percent on the batteries uh well now we're charging 10 amps four seven this is jumping off 20 amps it's jumping all over the place because the mini split is on it's running on heat. It's set at 78 degrees still, just like it was. And it's 46 degrees outside, 75 degrees inside. I know you can't see that, but um, I can hear that running in the background. She has the uh, blow dry running and the power straightener thing running. And you can see we got pretty much everything running. Like right. just a glance up, TV's on. Mini split, fridge, freezer. I mean, pretty much a normal, everything a normal house will be running. And with everything that she is running, and everything that the mini split and everything else is running, we're pulling. Now we're charging. So it's just all over the place. It's been fermenting for about, what, five or six hours, I guess. Yeah. You can see how much it's swolled up. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and give them some out of that. We had a whole lot more eggs today too. Four, five. Gotta change that water out. <laughs> but anyway. That's what I was just saying, they got it nasty again, huh? Yeah. Alrighty 
got it. What time is it? It's 4.37. It's 4.37, and it's been a gloomy day. The sun's peaked out two or three times, but it's been pretty much a gloomy day all day today. Uh, the batteries are back at 98%, and right now we're getting seven amps into the batteries. All right, and it's still it's 42 degrees outside, and 70... Was it a five or seventy-five degrees inside? And right this minute, the grow watt is bringing in sixty-one volts, three amps. That's all it's doing. It's all four amps. So okay. And the other one, the other six solar panels right beside the six solar panels on the front row for this one, bringing one hundred twenty volts, three point eight amps. All right, these are the 12 solar panels on the chicken barn. Bringing in, let's see here, 297 volts, 207 watts, 7 amps. All right, guys, you can see the, the sky. It's all completely covered in clouds. That's the reason we're getting hardly any. You can see like a little peak in the sun, and the clouds out there for the sun. That's it. That's all we're getting out there. I'm going to go into, I guess, the closest city to us over here. Uh, they have like a small animal auction over here, livestock auction, that we was told about, what, last weekend or something like that? Yeah. We ran into a guy that had a goat in the store and actually had it, he walked, he was walking around the baby goat inside the Royal King or whatever it was. Yeah. And he was telling us he just bought it there, said there was a, I mean, we're not gonna buy anything, we just wanna go look and check it out. We got the, we've been doing kind of updates pretty much all day on the solar and like the weather. It's it's overclass and cloudy and it looks real gloomy. So I mean, it, today's not a good solar day, but the batteries are charged back. It took them a little longer today than it normally does because it's the over, overcast part of it, but they're still charged, that's all that matters. Alrighty guys, it is about 10 o'clock in the morning, next day, Sunday. Um, you can see the batteries got down to about 92. They're charging back now. Well, actually, they got down like 91, I think. But as of right now, we got 32 amps going into the batteries. You can see the sun is shining. So we got 32 amps going in right now. So those will be charged back here in a couple hours, probably. All right, and here's the AG4. It is producing. 63 volt power. I don't know if you can see this. 21 amps. At 1,180 watts, I guess. The uh, midnight is bringing in 112 volts, 565 watts, at 10 amps into the batteries. Uh, This thing's bringing in 10 amps, 400 volts at 10 amps.
Alrighty guys, one last update on the solar. It's uh, 1230 during the day and it's, uh, as you can see, as you can see right there, it is back to 100% and it got down to 89% last night. And from this morning to 1230 right now, it's back to 100%. All right, guys, the grow watt is 64 volts, 23 amps. The midnight is 109 volts at 21 amps. All right, 412 volts, 41 amps. So, so now all in all, <clears throat> they'll, they'll all like ramp down here in a minute because they're at 100 percent now and they're fixing to hit you know max capacity so once they do then these things will ramp down and just idle and run the house and then the batteries will be resting so anyway that's the update on those 12 30 uh p.m and they're the batteries are completely charged back to 100 percent and that is 12 eg4 batteries down here's the cabinet You can't really see in here too good because it's kind of dark, but there's six of them right there. And as you can see, they're all completely charged. These are the first four that we bought, these four right here. And, you know, that many amps coming in these batteries, nothing whatsoever. It's all cold to the touch, you know I mean? It's, it's all, the bus bars are cold. Everything's cold to the touch. Nothing is warm in here. With that many amps coming in nothing not one thing is warm so anyway like i said these are the original four we bought right here and these are the two we just put in and then the other four and then the other two so we have a total of 12 now as everybody knows so anyway 1200 amp hours back to 100 percent okay tonight we're making boneless ribs they're just little thin ribs and i took and put a little bit of marinating sauce in here this morning but i'm gonna add some more and what i put in was the oregano original marinade allegra. or allegra and put a little more of that the roasted garlic and herb and i'm gonna Put a little more of that. And then the Dale seasoning. Put a little bit of that. Just enough to kind of cover them and marinate them and get them all seasoned up here. And then um, like I said, I had it marinating a little bit this morning, but I'm going to let it marinate another three, four hours. And then this is what it looks like. I'll let it marinate another three, four hours. Then what we like to do is take it and put them in our air fryer on 390 for seven to ten minutes and it just falls apart. Honey guys, there's two grow barrels. I forgot whenever I, was, I ain't done with them yet. I, I didn't have the rest of the stuff I'd do now, so I was fixing to finish them up. But that was completely full of water, and I forgot to drill the weep holes on them. So they're still running water. I'm sitting here getting rained in there, man. But anyway, uh, I got that done. You can see they're draining now. They'll drain down to right here and stop. And that'll be a reservoir, a water reservoir there. A bunch more of this cut out. All this right in here, just gotta drag the brush. Got it cut out all the way up to there. Then all this over here got all that cut out. We just gotta drag the brush over here and, and then all that brush there and this big drug out. And also to come right here. And I've been hanging up my tools like my rags, post hole diggers, fixing a place, kind of organizing it all a little bit better. Toward all that just laying around. So right here, I made me a my iron hose right here and I got my drop cord and that's just a regular like a shelf bracket that I had I just put a two before for now on the end of it like a little chunk there to keep it from falling off which I really don't even need it I just prefer it on there in case the baby comes and hits it or something like that so then anyway, we got all that hung up got the rakes hung up 
Uh, and now I gotta put my tools up. And I'm gonna build a, uh, got some more rakes and a hole right there on that one, that post. Some posts are coming in handy. Uh, I'm gonna come right here. This won't take long to do, so I'll probably do it pretty quick. It's right here in this little semi-flat area right here. And I'm gonna build a uh, little small, like a, what they call a soundproof generator room. I'm gonna pour a concrete slab and then build, you know, build it out of wood. And I'm gonna put that generator in it uh, to get it out of the weather. And when we do run it, we don't wanna hear it no more because we're, since we put new batteries in, kinda of spoiled not having to hear it run, so. Anyway. Uh, flag's all twisted up, gotta fix that. Uh, so, that's pretty much what I've been doing all day, just peddling around. And that looks a lot better with all that stuff hung up out of the way right there. Now I can get in there, I gotta get those solar panels out of there. Those two right there, I gotta get those out. I got those two, and I'll probably get, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with those two yet, I'm gonna do something with them, I just don't know yet. Uh, those just gave to me. Um, I've got four new 280 watt panels down there. I don't know what I'm gonna do. The, well, I know what I want to do with them. I'm gonna hook them to the water heater, like a preheater, in which I will be doing soon. But anyway, guys, uh, got through making sure the chickens had all feed and watered. They're all good. Uh, I gotta put up my stuff here and we'll head in where a man's at and eat dinner. I'm starting soon to do some potatoes. I got some rolls. I got this just sitting here. I haven't turned it on yet. It's just in the marinating sauce because when my oven preheats, the bread takes 10 minutes, the ribs take 10 minutes, and the potatoes should take about the same. So I'm just waiting for the oven to heat up. I'm just going to go ahead and turn the potatoes and the butter in the mm -hmm. Water on. But. And tell them that the instant potatoes are from our stash that was bucketed up several years ago, right? Yes. So. They were. Right. Okay, guys. This is what we're having for dinner. The boneless um, ribs and mashed potatoes, garlic mashed potatoes that we've had in our prep supply for a little while. And some rolls. And um, this will contain our video but if you haven't yet please like and subscribe to our videos help us out and um, we're gonna get off of here and have a bite to eat